Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So we have two new custom courtiers as always. We have Demimur Targaryen who is, um, well he was a commander in some of the revolts that the Targaryens were having. They were trying to, uh, you know, when they were trying to do their uprisings, take over Westeros. He's been part of this for a while now. And he was suggesting that perhaps, as he is of noble blood, he should have a proper marriage to a noble. And the, uh... Yes, his family suggested that perhaps he would be better as a king's guard when the time came. And uh, he decided that he was not happy with this and left. We also have Zalia, who was the daughter of a merchant from New, Le uh, from New Geese, who was, um, well, he was murdered because he had done some wrong. He has now, well, she has now um, left Geese under circumstances that she wasn't too happy with and has been seducing her way across the continent and has ended up here where she hopes that she can find um, a safe place and well she is a ho presumably trying to seduce us we'll see how that goes though anyway talking about us we've been at peace for too long and we need to go and do some stuff uh, like go and raid somewhere uh, we can also press it to your ducal claims on pike no I'm just reacquainting ourselves with where I was um, righteously in prison, not going to do that for him, not going to do that for him. Don't really want to righteously in prison for these plots, they're not really that big a deal. Drowned man, nobody to fill it. Cool, just working out everything we need to do. Let's get our peace going. Well, let's get rid of it. Let's get all of our vassals raised up. We actually have a reasonable number of troops from our vassals now. And we'll get all of our uh, vassal levies. I think this is enough. Yeah, that's enough. And we will hopefully be able to grab all of these. Yep. And get them over here. And then we'll gather up everybody and everything will be fine. Oh, and maybe something a little bit faster than speed one. Uh, all the guests have arrived at Harlow, Till, uh, Harlow Hill. It's now time to start the feasting to celebrate the life of Titus Serpentail. Yes, I forgot we were holding a funeral. Maybe this is uh, the way that uh, Melora deals with uh, death. She uh, has a funeral and then sends out people to go and raid for her. I don't know. Right, let's get everybody together. My liege, my work in stone theory seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, and forging and documents, I've managed to fabricate a claim on the Lordship of Stone Tree, presently held by Lord Harlan of Stone Tree. I'll leave it up to you whether to press it or not. Yours humbly, Jimmy. So, here's Stone Tree, here's Lord Harlan. Yes, that is exactly what we're after. We will pay it. We have enough to pay it as well. Okay. So we have our claim on Stone Tree. We don't need one on Rollmark. As the, I'm just seeing if there's anything else we're looking at here. Um, I don't believe we have any alliance. Oh, these are Lannisters. Oh, okay. I thought these were uh, good brothers for a second. I think that's who are meant to be there. But I guess Lannisters were given it. Um, maybe we'll try and get some of this land back from these guys. Uh, how many men do we have overall? We have just less than they do, so it's not an impossibility, although, um, yeah, he doesn't have an alliance with um, this person. Oh, non-aggression pact, not an alliance. Okay. So maybe we could attack Great Quick if we got a claim. Orkmont we can't get. Black Tide. We could get Black Tide as well if we wanted it, although they have even more men. Uh, let's fabricate on uh, Pebble Town and try and get the Duchy. There we go. Move you back. Try and get the Duchy. And we'll uh, just go and get some money here. The funeral. It's been day. It's been a day since Titus passed away. The strongest reavers and kin of the dev have dead. Sorry, have gathered here in the keep, where a drowned man is brought in to check the deceased. Then the assembled party lift up the body and carry it for, uh, from the keep to a waiting ship, and it is sailed out into the open sea where the anchor is cast. The drowned man gathers up seawater and sprinkles it upon the dead, speaking the ancient words. With the rites complete, each member of the conclave comes together to recount memories of the deceased, of the greatest reavings, major um, boarding actions, and the many treasures paid for with the iron price. As the sun falls, the drowned man ties off the body and is cast overboard with the words, What is dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger. So Titus died from a severe maiming. He was a man who liked, who, uh, with little likes or dislikes, and just lived each day as it came. He was a competent swordsman, but not a warrior songs are written of. Okay. What do you want me to do? You want me to join your plot to replace Gwyneth the Spymaster? Well, you were my educator. You have been Spymaster before. 
Yeah, sure, I'll accept your plot. Also, I wanted to make you Spy Master ages ago, but you weren't. In fact, you know what? Oh, wow, Gwyneth hate Gwyneth's a rival? Um. Oh, what the. What's she doing as our Spy Master? Oh, I see. We must not got pop up about it, but I think I know where this would come from. She's our rival because she is married to Unknown and weird lover of Unknown. And she has found out about it, making us her rival. I don't know why we didn't get a pop-up. Or maybe we did, and I just didn't realise who she was. Okay, yeah. Definitely don't want you being our spy master. Like, you're a rival. You're, you're just trying to kill me. I think she's got, what, negative 180 opinion of us? Yeah. That's a pretty uh, slut seductress. Well, she's harsh words. Right, I guess Vori can be our spy master because she has been spy master for years and it was just a bug not letting her be one. Okay, cool. That works out for me. Let's get our men on boats and uh, let... Before we get our men on boats, let's toggle them as looter. Then let's see who's at war. Westeros, not at war. The Rock is at war with the Reach, which means the Reach uh, has a lot of uh, things we could attack. Door, not at war. Stormlands, not at war. North, not at war. We're going for the reach. Let's, um... Let's maybe go down here to the arbor. Uh, who are our leaders? Arik, um... Artis, and Mayford. Yeah, they seem fine. Cool. We'll get rid of this peace thing and we can get some piety going. People being released from Joffrey's dungeon. Cool. Right. Drop off the men. Uh, Septim Lionel's being released from Lord Malwin's dungeon. Okay, don't know who these people are, but I'm sure it'll be important. Oh wow, that's a lot of money that we can get. This is a lot of possible loot. That's, uh, yeah, that that is an extreme amount of possible loot. Is that actually our, that's almost our entire capacity from the arbor. That's crazy. Yeah, we're actually going to be able to get it as well. Ooh, this is, this is fantastic. Oh, they raised up their men. All, all a hundred of them, so we want another. We don't want a battle while we're here. Yeah, well, that's a lot of money. Um, well, I mean, I guess we'll get our claim on the Lordship of Pebble Town. That's fine. Um, very good work, uh, Jimmy. Um, we did it so quickly, I can't even reassign him. Okay, let's get back on the boats. I think, oh, Brian Killick died of depression. He was married to Rhonda at one point, and he had no children. Uh, I guess we need to just go back. Yeah, we just kind of want to head back up here. Let's head to Saltcliff, and then we'll head um, like back down to the rest of the Reach. That's a lot of money we got. That was very, very easy. Uh, someone else died. Shireen died a natural death. She was married to Tristan the Root. Okay. Uh, yeah. Guess we're going to need a lot of money if uh, Jimmy's going to be that good at getting all of these diplomacy things done. Important decisions. Go on a reaving. No. We're, we're going to go back out again. Do we have any prisoners? Nope. Right, let's go. Uh, where do we want to go this time? Well, I don't think we're going to be able to get nearly as much money as we got last time, but I'm just seeing if there's anywhere along the coast that's... Ooh, this one's quite nice. Old Town has a lot of um, possible loot available. Let's go there. Let's go uh, see what we can get. Castle Town has been built. I forgot we were doing a lot of building. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, lots and lots of uh, money coming out of there. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's um, the most of out there as well, we saw. I just want to see where their army is, because we saw it move along. So I just want to make sure that we're not about to do horribly. Okay, so there it is. So let's head around to Old Town now. I think we should be fine. I'm sure that with child, my husband will be pleased. Okay. And Roderick's the father. I think that's what they were saying. That's good. Uh, right. Head into Old Town. Oh, wow. So, I was hoping that it would only be the top level holding that we would have to worry about. That's really annoying. And it was a stack wipe. Well, okay. That's annoying. Uh, new Lord Commander on the wall. We have a Frey. Duncan Frey. Yep. My rating really needs some work. It's not the best part of my game. Jimmy has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in the aid of Pike. It would be seen as the right and honourable course to reward him with certain incomes and grants as to foster greater loyalty. 
Well, we're charitable, so of course. Jimmy, here you go. Have five uh, ducats. Cool. Right. In fact, you know what? We are charitable, and we he does deserve a reward. We're going to do something. We're going to raise him to nobility, I think. Yeah. There we go. We're very charitable. 40 gold. He gains 40 gold. Uh, he gains prestige, and he's given a new house name and coat of arms. He is now the Greaterians. Okay. It, w another thing I want to see is, does that mean his brothers are also? No, they're not. Interesting. Well, there you go. You have a title. I didn't realize he... Where did he get this Valyrian steel sword from? Jimmy's an interesting character here. Don't know what's going on with him. Bit weird. Anyway. We'll see how that line does. Um, I think we'll do that for anyone else who, like, uh, does nice stuff for us as well. While we're, uh, playing as Melora. King Justin the Unworthy has inherited the lordship of at Bloody Gate from Sir Cal of the Bloody Gate. Okay. Cool. Right, and then there's not really a lot we can do, because we lost all of our troops and we're not underneath the, um... Like, if we were underneath uh, the Westlands, we could have attacked Stone Tree straight away, but we can't. Also, we don't have the men anymore, because we just, um, lost them all. That was uh, not the smartest move. Um, Jean uh, Martel is now known as the Elegant. I have had times when the cowardice of Megan made me doubt her, but she had way she handled the situation when everyone else ran in different directions to try and catch the chalice thief made me re-evaluate Megan. The priest had just misplaced the chalice. Hmm. If no one else tells Megan she did good, I will. Okay, who's she married to? John Fisher. Okay. Cool. Uh, anything else we're looking at? Not really. We just gotta kind of uh, wait it out. I mean, we don't have any men anymore, so. Okay, something is up with this. This is getting ridiculous, because this is the same person whose courtier was also, um... Like, he said two other courtiers die in the first episode that they've appeared. This is just weird at this point. There's no negative health traits. What is going on here? Okay. Well, that's weird. Oh. Maybe the game is trying to compensate and kill people off for our court size. I don't know. Because uh, Lyos just died moments later. He had one child, Eldis the warrior. And... Oh, I didn't realize that Eldis was uh, actually from from uh, one of our courtiers. Okay. And he is married to Shuria Perlai. Okay, and he was previously married to Lavake, who is the daughter of Ricaro. Uh, Ricaro being one of the courtiers, and uh, she has another son as well, another eldest. Which is weird, because he's a bastard, but they're, he has a half-brother with the same name. That's just a little bit weird. Anyway. Another peasant's revolt rolls up. A son was born to Lady Melora of Pike and Lord Reaver Roderick of Pike named Lenwood. That's our second son. Lenwood Serpentail. Do we call him Lenwood? Um, yeah, okay, we'll call him Lenwood. Anything special about Lenwood? Not really. Now, we gave his brother Pride as a childhood focus, um, which is all about rulership. How about we give Lenwood something else? Focus on behavior and etiquette? Probably not. Humility? Focusing on service and humility? Um, maybe. Duty? Duty sounds like what we're looking for. Yeah, duty. Focuses are uh, duty by guards and retainers, focusing on duty and diligence. Yeah, that sounds like a good one for a second son. Um, Joffrey Lannister's calling in favors on people. Um, someone won the siege of Castamore. Wasn't us. Uh, Lord Torwald of Ham of Hammerhorn has declared Hammerhorn's war for Torgan's claim on Great Wick on Prince Norwin of the Rock. Okay. Where is Hammerhorn? Oh, it's right next to, uh, like, right next to Pebbletown. I see. So we'll see if he can get that. Uh, we'd kind of prefer the war to still be going on when we, um, get out. Like, when we come back underneath the Westerlands. Can we join their war and come back underneath them? We could swear fealty and jump back underneath. 
Or, oh wait, declare for the king. Officially join his side in the war. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at our traits. Because that's what I want to do from a gameplay perspective. Just, um, kind. We're ambitious. Nothing saying that we wouldn't be able to do that. We're a little bit sneaky. I think we would be able to jump back underneath so that we could enter into a war of Pebble Town if we think that's a good idea. Hammerhorn, yeah, I want to do that possibly. Let's wait a day. I want to see. Those, that's a different Lannister army. Okay. I think. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's jump. Let's declare for the king. Let's see what happens there. We should jump underneath. Oh, it ended inconclusively? Oh, well, that's unfortunate that we did that. Why did it end inconclusively? Are you dead? No. No. Um. That's kind of weird. Oh, I guess the king told him to stop. That's probably what happened. My lady, it's come to my attention that nobody being designated a regent for Pike should the realm need it. Needless to say, this is a perilous position, as surely squabble and rivalry will emerge without clear leadership. I humbly petition you name me designated regent to avoid the sort of trouble signed Vori of... Uh, just signed Vori. Okay, um, I will see it done, yeah. Of course. Um, I like that. Prince Torwald signed uh, Simon for Great Wick. Oh, maybe he wasn't pressing his own claim on Great Wick. Maybe he was pressing someone else's. He doesn't have a claim on Great Wick. I see. Ah, so he was pressing Simon, his brother's claim on Great Wick. But his brother got imprisoned by someone, which therefore meant that he could. the war was end, just ended. Is that it? Also, did we not declare for our king? Like, I'm fairly certain we did. This is, that's a bit weird. I want to declare for you. Nope. Okay, whatever. We'll leave it as it is. Uh, under my guidance, my young courtier, Hadron, is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Do we really want to be educating him ourselves? Um, I mean, we could. I don't think we want to be. I think someone else should be educating him. So Hadron already had the childhood focus humility. Um, which is... Tutored by trainers and uh, by servants at court. Um, okay, maybe we will give him someone else. Uh, servants or something at court. Do we have any of those? Maybe. I say, who are you? Who are you, Miral? Would you do? Ah, uh, right. This is. I went down a road of things. How do you get them to appear in that one if they're in this window? That's interesting. Anyway, uh, I just want to see who she was married to, basically. Oh, Sir James. So not a servant. That's where I was going with that. So we're kind of looking for an unmarried person who's lowborn. Yes. Um, I'm just assuming they'll be younger if they're unmarried. Um, Eldest? Eldest the warrior? Nope. How about you, Quanda? Nope. Jahula? Jahula! You are un like you're unmarried, you're relatively older, you're a summer islander, you were probably a slave at some point. Okay. You know what? You can educate him. That fits the what it says under humility there. Right. There we go. You will being released from prison. Uh, Peasants Revolt has ended. Uh, King Emin of the Wheat Reach won. Uh, lately, I've been trying to help and advance my family wherever possible. I've gained the family person trait. Okay, so I'm all about... Um, I'm now all about the family. Like, uh, improving the family. That's where the ambitions come from. It's making the family do better. Okay. I've been making an effort to spend more time with my half-brother Ambrod lately. We have not always seen eye to eye, but as his liege, it is especially important to foster loyalty and respect. Family first. Oh, Ambrode is old enough to marry. Oh, King Joffrey III of the Reach accepted King Emmon, the Holy's Peace Offer. White Peace. Okay. So we will jump underneath the rock in a second. We'll look at Ambrode just after that. Uh, to the foul child, Melora, your low character is subject of Bravosi plays. As a formal declaration of war, our army shall meet on the battlefield. Um, What do you declare for? For Stone Tree's claim on Harlaw Hill. Um... 
I'm not happy with this at all. We have enough men. Okay. Well, we had to raise up the men there. Malora cannot be leading. Uh, who do we want? We want... Um, Arik, probably. Oh, um, so Mayford will put in Tiberius. And instead of Artis, well, instead of nothing, we'll put in Artis. It's not great. Do we have anyone who has, like, a bo any bonuses? No. Do we have any better commanders? I know... I know we already have commanders assigned. I'm just seeing if we have anyone who's like significant. We, you're better, uh, but not really that much better. Your marshal's much better, but uh, we do have a few people who are better at leading. Mm, okay. Uh, I think this is a perfect time for a commander uh, reshuffle. Right, Mayford, I know you've been a commander for a long time, but we're going to change you out because uh, it's a difficult time and we definitely need to be uh, getting some extra stuff here. Direct leader, you know what, Roderick, I think you're a good guy. I think you can be in charge. Who else are we going to get? We're going to get um, Urgen, definitely. Instead of you, we will get Harlan. Right. Who do we want leading? Well, we probably just want our best leading here, so... Lead in the center, we want it to be, um... We definitely want it to be Roderick, because we get a bonus lead in the center. Leading one side, Ed Demador. Leading the other side, we want Urgrun. I assigned a commander who was also on the council, didn't I? Uh, that'd be Harlan, yep. I guess we'll put Gilwood as our backup commander. Okay, Gilwood, you can be in charge of this. Let's get our boats up. Get all of our boats over here. Also, can we jump back underneath you guys? No. Okay, so we're stuck pretty much outside here. The wars between the great power of the realm have subsided for now. Yes, we're back underneath our liege. Liege? Liege, where, where, where's the please stop the war? That's not a thing. Uh, damn it. Okay. Oh, it ended inconclusively. That's actually the best we could hope for. Legitimately, that's by far the best we could hope for out of that. Uh, you stay there. Right. Uh, cool. My courtier, Jimmy Gratrian, has expressed a desire to get married and has asked for my permission to find a suitable spouse. Um... Marry as you please, Jimmy. Right. Cool. Get rid of the boats. Get rid of the boats. Get rid of the boats. Get rid of the people. Oh, well. That was a little bit of excitement at the end there. But we survived, and I think we're probably ready to attack him next time. Or get very close to it. We're very close to the right amount of numbers to attack. Anyway, I am going to... Oh, there's another person we can imprison, actually. Uh, okay, I don't care. Um, right, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.